Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be a fall clean and decorate with me. I'm cleaning a lot of my main floor area and decorating. Fall is my favorite time of year, so I was super excited to film this for you guys, and I was even more excited to just decorate my house in general. I have a lot of stuff from the previous seasons because I really do love decorating for fall, but I bought some new stuff this year too. A lot of it ended up kind of being blue, which I wasn't expecting, but I actually love it. And then I incorporated a lot of my old stuff in there too, so it's kind of just like hodgepodge all over the place, but that's kind of how I decorate anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and come along with me decorate your house for fall. Also, I wanted to mention that this video is a collab with my three very best friends here on YouTube, Denise Bangiev, Tara Shattuck, and Aaliyah Martins. They are all wonderful, wonderful women and mothers and their channels are amazing. We have kind of met up and all become really good friends organically. It's crazy how it all worked out, but we all four talk every single day and they encourage me and they push me to do better better and I love how we all have different styles of decorating too so they're all doing fall clean and decorates with me so I'm gonna link their channels below make sure you go check them out because you're gonna get different tastes of fall decor in each video so check out their channels let them know that I sent you and let's get on into this cleaning and decorating I love having real flowers in my house and I typically get my flowers from Kroger. I don't know if y'all have Kroger's near where you live, but I find the flowers there to be the cheapest and some of the prettiest flowers. But I went into my Kroger and all of the flowers still seemed so bright and they weren't really fall colors. So I ended up getting some greenery and some baby's breath. I still think they're really pretty, but I did put them here in the vase and leave them like that for a little while, but I come back to them later and take a few out because it's a bit much, but they do look really pretty. Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life Having dreams in a dream, I wonder Why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind 
there's no way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of you You Of you Of you Of you Of you You Of you Of you Of you I've had a couple people ask me, what is this vacuum cleaner and why am I using it? I mentioned it in one of my videos, but it was on major sale at Target one time for $40 and it had really good reviews and a few people had talked about it too. So I decided to get it. It works so well on my carpet and on my rugs and I'm so glad I got it. I typically just use it upstairs, but I brought it downstairs because I had just vacuum marks in my room too. But I also just love to sweep. I sweep underneath my cabinets and underneath my fridge. I feel like nothing gets your floors as clean as sweeping them sometimes. So I still very much use my other vacuum cleaner. It just is not always in my videos for some reason. But if I can have the real you, then let me make a 3D print of you. Shoot in the dark, so I miss my talk. Yeah. It's a time to move on, but I cannot. I shoot in the dark, so I miss my talk. Yeah. It's a time to move on, you know. So I why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for me. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out So I'm not really sure how y'all decide to decorate or what your process is, but for me, I feel like I can't start decorating until all of my surfaces are clean and even the floors are clean. I don't know. Sometimes I do go room by room, 
but because my living room and my kitchen and my dining room are all such an open area, I felt like I wanted to clean all the surfaces and mop and sweep before I pulled out all my stuff to decorate. I felt like it just gave me a clearer mind to have a better vision of where I was going. But how do y'all decorate your houses? Do you just kind of go room by room or do you want everything to be clean before you pull out all of your decor? I'm curious to know. Also, if you see shadows moving around in my windows, it's not creepy. I promise my kids were outside playing with Mark. <laughs> Okay, pretty much everything is clean now. I need to dump my mop bucket. But now it's just a matter of figuring out where everything goes. And I move stuff around a lot when I'm decorating. So this is probably gonna take multiple tries to get it how I like it. And even then I might still move stuff around. But here's all my decor from last year and a lot of it is from this year. That gray bucket is my kid's toys that needs to go upstairs. But I'm gonna start setting stuff out and see what happens. I'm pretty much only gonna decorate in the living room and the kitchen and the eating area. accidentally lied I had this stuff but then I completely forgot about the closet where I was hiding some other stuff that I bought so I have this stuff too but this is pretty self-explanatory where some of this will go like kitchen towels and a candle and stuff but I'm gonna get this all put out and then probably moved around about a hundred times <laughs>
I know some of y'all might be interested in knowing where I got some of the stuff I got. I know when I watch videos, I'm always curious too. So I will list a few things throughout as I go, but I got this table runner from TJ Maxx and the wooden container from Hobby Lobby and the pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and the container, I don't know why I'm calling it container, but the little wooden thing was $12, I'm pretty sure. And the table runner was also $12 and I think it turned out pretty cute. And then there's a bunch of stuff on my fireplace that I will explain where I got in a little while. But this blue table that you're gonna see in just a second, I rearranged this thing so many times and I will probably still continue to rearrange it. I don't know what it was, but I got these little um, sprig things from Hobby Lobby as well as the vase from Hobby Lobby. And then in a second, you'll see this pumpkin sign. And I got that from TJ Maxx and all the pumpkins were from Home Goods. Pretty much any time you see me filling up a jar or a vase with any kind of sprigs or greenery or cotton, all of that is from Hobby Lobby. That's just my go-to place for stuff like that. And also I got this little pumpkin sign from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Ours is kind of like the same and I'm pretty sure it was $9.99. And then the pumpkin next to it is actually from Big Lots. They had some pretty cute stuff this year.
got it all, babe. Say thumbs when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let me. Got it all, babe. Say thumbs when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let go. I tried to keep it pretty simple on the front porch this year mainly because we always go to a pumpkin patch and let our kids pick out pumpkins and that's a big part of what decorates our front porch but those pumpkin patches aren't open yet around here since it's still a little bit early so it's also kind of bright out here let me see if I can change the lighting a little bit but I got a couple hay bales from Hobby Lobby and that's where we put our pumpkins a mom and just some extra fall decor. I love this rug. It's from Hobby Lobby and then the rug underneath it is from at home and that pumpkin right there is from Hobby Lobby. But we're going to kind of also have like real pumpkins all around this so I feel like it's going to be that added touch that we don't yet have but I really like the way that it looks so far. It's just simple but it looks like fall. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it has motivated you to get some cleaning done and possibly even pull out your fall decor and start decorating. I know this video in particular was so fun for me to do because I love cleaning and I love filming cleaning videos for y'all, but I also love the decorating element of things. I know I'm not the world's best decorator, but it is so fun for me to change up things in my house and to decorate for the season. So I truly hope y'all enjoyed it. Also, do not forget to go check out my friends' pages here on YouTube. Again, they're all linked below. They're going to have all kinds of motivation for you. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Something